Hello YouTube, this is Shiva Safkura with another technology video. Today we're going to be doing a review of an electric vehicle. An e-bike actually. It is the Jetson Bolt Pro. I've been wanting an e-bike for a while and I was shopping at Costco the other day and I came across this bike. Uh, they were selling it for a really good price, $299. It is supposed to do 15 miles per charge and I thought, well, that is really awesome. I don't need it for longer than that, so I wanted to check it out. I was a little hesitant uh, at first because it looked very small. I am 5'9 and 185 pounds so I wasn't sure if it was going to be a good fit for what I need this bike for and it turns out it is amazing. I've been riding it for the past couple of days and it has been really great. We maxed out on the range, we did some testing, um, I'm going to be sharing all that experience with you. Uh, we are going to be first doing an unboxing. I'm going to show you every step of the way, how to set it up, what you need. Uh, I'll be giving you specifications along the way and then I'll show you how it how it rides. It is pretty smooth ride. Um, the previous generation of uh, Jetson Bolt, the the Bolt didn't have pedals. So I did not I did not like that bike because it didn't have pedals. I wanted something that I can manually pedal in case my charge runs out. Um, plus I just like having flexibility to be able to pedal. So this one was perfect. It's a little bike. It weighs just around 45 pounds and it has been driving great so far. So with that, let's dive right into it and start with the unboxing. If you're new here, my name is Shiva Sapkura. I'm an engineer out in Colorado. I make exciting technology videos covering wide range of technology, mainly Teslas, uh, but also I cover other things like solar panels and e-bikes. So and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I really appreciate your support. Let's get it started. This is me coming out of Costco with my e-bike. The box is fairly large. It might not fit in your trunk. Depending on the car that you drive, you might have to fold your seat or put it in the back seat. Um, in my Tesla Model 3, it did not fit, so I had to fold the seat, uh, the back seat, to be able to fit. The rough dimensions are 46 and half inches by 24 inches. There's a tag that says, hold on, don't return it to the store. Contact customer service and we'll take care of you. I asked Costco before purchasing that and they said they would allow store return. To secure the steering wheel, you just have to snap that clip and then you also have to twist and turn that locking mechanism for it to stay in place. When you first get your bike, the brakes would be facing down. To orient yourself and make it straight facing front, you have to undo the clip on the very top. And then when you find a position that is straight where the brakes are facing front, just put the clip back on and you'll be good to go. The mechanical bell will also be facing down. You just have to pull it up and slide a little bit towards the right and it will be secured in place. I had to loosen the front reflector and then turn it around so it is facing front and then retighten it from the bottom. Um, I couldn't just slide it, it, it wasn't going in. The pedals come with left and right markings on them. So all you have to do is align it, tighten it with your hand as much as you can, and then you can use the wrench that, is pro that comes with the bike to further tighten the pedal. And then when you're done with one side, just you have to do the exact same thing on the other side. To install the backlight, the blinking light, all you have to do is 
put it in place like this and then it's a rubber band so you have to snap that little plastic piece into the rubber band it's a little tricky it might take a little bit to get that in but once it is in it looks like this to install the seat just put that rod in that seat slot and then turn that key until you find a spot that is tight so that it will hold and then just snap that key in place and it will be secure. The final step is to install the rear fender and this might be a little tricky because there's not a lot of room back there where that nut goes. So just use your finger as much as you can and then once it is tight you can get the tools that it came with to further tighten the rear fender. Let's just quickly go over the spec of this bike. It is 46.5 inches in length and then when the handlebar is in upright position it is 38.5 inches tall. When you bring this handlebar down, when you fold it, it becomes 23 inches tall but the length is still 46.5 inches. It weighs just around 41 pounds and there is this um, handle, there is this space in the handle for you to be able to carry, making it easier to carry this bike around. It has a 36 volt, 6 amp hour lithium ion battery that powers a 350 watt hub motor that is located here in the rear. It takes just about 4 hours to fully charge. It is rated for 15 miles, but that totally depends on the weight of the person riding this, the incline, the wind. Uh, a few things can affect that rated range, but it is rated for 15 miles in under ideal conditions. It has 14 inches rubber tires on both front and back and those are mounted in a metal rim. Uh, they are painted so I'm not sure what kind of metal they, uh, they used but they are metal. I can confirm they are metal. They are not plastic. It also has two 6 inch discs for front and rear disc braking and uh, just wanted to let you know the brakes are very sensitive so they work really really well. So first time you are taking this out on the road, just be careful that these brakes are very sensitive. So it will take a little bit of time getting used to those brakes. This kick stand right here is very heavy duty. It holds the bike very well and super sturdy. So I was amazed by how well the kick stand works. To turn the power on, you just have to press on this power button once and then this green indicator pops up over here which has four indicators which are the battery indicator so if it is on the fourth one that means there is 75 to 100 percent charge if it is on the third one and the fourth one is not lit that means you have 50 to 75 percent charge if it is on just the second one and these two are not lit that means you only have 25 to 50 percent and if it is on the very last one that means you have zero to 25 percent charge you need to charge your bolt immediately. When the battery runs out, this becomes red, and then, of course, it does not work as an EV. At that time, you have to paddle manually. There's also a mechanical bell right over here. You just have to... Here is your throttle, so once, it is, uh, once the power is turned on, you can change the speed by using this throttle, like a motorcycle. You just have to use this as a throttle. This is what it looks like from the top. To turn on the front LED headlight, when the power is on, you just have to hold on to this for about four seconds. And the light turns on. And to turn it off, you just do the same. Hold it for four seconds and the light turns off. To enable the cruise control, you just have to press on this once while you are have a steady speed and that is the speed that you want to continue with. You just have to press on this once and then the cruise control turns on. To turn off the cruise control, you can also just press and hold on to it once or it has sensors where you can apply the brakes and then the cruise control will go away. To activate this rear light, all you have to do is press on it once and then it is a steady red. And then if you press on it again, it starts blinking red. And then you press on it again, it blinks a little bit of slower. And then fourth time, it turns off. There's the rear reflector, and there's also the front reflector here. 
This is where your charge port is located. Right here, uh, it has that weather resistance cap. Just remove that cap and then you will see that port right over here where you just have to plug in your charger and then plug the other end onto the wall. Just with any other electronic, plug this part to your wall first before plugging in to your electronic, in this case, in this bike. Uh, so just make sure to plug this into the wall and then plug this over here to conserve your battery. To fold the handle, you first need to slide this lock towards the right and then you pull on this handle so that it can fold. What I found it easier is grabbing right over here first and then using your other thumb to slide. It becomes easier to slide that way. And then just grabbing here and then snapping this out and then carefully folding this all the way down. Once folded, it becomes pretty small that it, it fit in my Tesla Model 3's trunk without having to fold my seat. As for the real range taste, uh, we found this perfectly circular street in our neighborhood. It is right around a mile long, uh, but looking at the profile, it is not exactly flat. There is some incline, there is some changes in elevation. So I wasn't expecting to get full range uh, that is advertised under ideal conditions. So we ended up doing right around 14 turns and couple hundred feet and then the bike completely stopped and it was full charged. So that's a really good range for you know not being a flat surface. I'm planning on riding this bike around different trails around the city. So I'll keep you updated on what kind of range I'm getting throughout different trails and different topography. And I'll let you know and keep you all updated in my future videos on uh, what kind of a battery degradation that I'm seeing over time. All right, that will do it for today's video. I just wanted to show you what this bike looks like, what the specs are, what I think about it, and is it a really legit adult e-bike, you know? And uh, it turns out to be a really good bike. I absolutely love it. I highly, highly recommend it. It is for a really reasonable price compared to other e-bikes, and it has really impressive specs. With that, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for supporting my channel. If you like what you see, and if you want more in the future, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.